Anyone who plays or watches sport knows how pivotal a second half can be. It gives losing teams an opportunity to reevaluate what they're doing and hopefully do better in the second half. And it also gives teams that are already had the opportunity to reevaluate to make sure that they can stay ahead and finish off strongly. Where are you in your game this year? Are you ahead, doing a right, or behind? It's your halftime now, and now's the time to evaluate where you are. So here are three questions that I want you to ask yourself that can really help you get an idea of where you are at and where you need to be. And hopefully they can help you get back on track. Now a word of warning, they can be challenging to answer, but questions are extremely powerful. They allow us to think clearly and see things differently. So the first question is, what am I currently doing that's working? Here I want you to list down activities that are assisting you in achieving your goals or whatever it is that you want. And it might be that you're doing an internal thing, for example, like meditating, and that might be helping you keep a calm state of mind. It might also be helping you tolerate the frustrations that sometimes life can bring you. Or maybe it's something externally focused, like maybe you've got effective marketing strategies that have been working for you. If you want to create separate categories for it, like internal, external, family, social, whatever works for you. Just what are you doing that's working? The second question is, and I'm sure you can guess it, is what am I doing that is not working? You might have implemented things in the past that just don't work or don't serve you anymore. For example, you might have been following like a particular workout routine, but all of a sudden you hit a plateau or you got bored or all of a sudden like your goals have changed and now you need to change it. Like I've signed up to do a half marathon. I can't no longer, I can no longer do like the predominantly strength based training that I've done in the past. I'm now gonna mix it up with a bit of running and also mix it up with like things that are gonna strengthen my legs so that I can run for like long distances. So make a list of that. What are you doing that is not working? Now the third question is, what am I not doing? Look at the areas of your life, family, social, relationships, or even like finances and have a look and have a really good look and see, well, what am I not doing in these areas that I probably should be doing? Maybe you're not spending enough quality time with your partner. Maybe you're not spending enough time with your kids. Maybe you're spending too much time going out on the weekends and not spending that time focusing on other more important pressing things. Really reflect and take a good look at it. This is the part where I said like, it might get a little bit challenging because even when I do these exercises sometimes, I find it like a little bit confronting in a way because I don't want to admit that like I'm not doing good enough in some areas, but like the reality is, is if I don't hold up the mirror and take a good look at myself and see where about in my life do I need to improve, then am I just going to be going through life very blindly. And then all of a sudden, you know, impacting people and things in my life unknowingly. And that's what, that's what asking questions allow, allows us to do. It allows us to hold the mirror up and just see what's going on. So there, those are your three questions I want you to ask yourself so you can evaluate where you are at this point in time in the year. Answer it, see what you need to change, implement, and I'll see you in the next video. Catch you later, bye.